Good evening, PLC. It's uh, Pepper Wolverine. It's a uh, Friday evening. Uh, it's time for uh, another Pepper Wolverine uh, Pepper review. This uh, Friday evening, we have Pepper. You've seen some of you have seen me post about, but I haven't done an actual review of. It is the Carbon Boot Seven Pot Red times Bubblegum. It's a Tony Sherwood creation. Uh, put a, quite a few posts up of this uh, of the plants that uh, produce this pod and the mother plant that produced the clones that uh, produced this pod. It was a early season uh, cracky experiment um, that uh, eventually put into a 30 gallon uh, garbage can outside and before I put it outside I took some clones off of it and put those clones inside of my tent for isolation because I believed that I would like this so much that I wanted to isolate it and, uh, so I did and I'm glad I did because it's a really good pepper it's a pretty hot pepper um, say hello JT hello say hi PLC hi PLC say pepper lovers community pepper lovers community all right good job buddy um, it's a good bleeder um, it'll bleed all the way up the stem if uh, <laughs> left on the plant for a longer period of time it's not as shiny as what's showing in the camera at the moment. It has to do with a little bit of the lighting. Uh, changed locations inside of the house. It's uh, kind of cold to do anything outside of the house. But uh, I did leave a couple earlier um, on the plant quite a bit longer, maybe another week or two, and they bled all the way up the stem. I mean, the entire stem was red. So actually pretty cool. Uh, something that was interesting about this one is uh, it's kind of hard to see probably, but I took a picture earlier, a uh, funny uh, you know, holiday picture, the, the Christmas tree skirt uh, as a skirt I was wearing, and I uh, put the stem in my mouth, and it was interesting because the stem actually has uh, heat to it. Um, after about 30, 45 seconds, I realized, like, man, that's kind of hot. It feels like I eat a pepper. And my wife confirmed that, uh, that uh, when I gave her a little... Uh, little smooch she said what did you eat some peppers it's hot I was like, well, no all I did was put the stem in my mouth so um, it's interesting I don't know if there's ever been any correlation done to the bleeding calyx uh, actually uh, moving uh, oils up into the stem or not so that was I just found it was interesting so I thought I'd share that with you so um, it's a nice uh, nice pepper uh, um, a little bit smaller than some of the other ones uh, that have come off of the plants, but uh, they're a good specimen nonetheless with a good amount of bleeding calyx on it. So like I said, this is a, uh, a uh, carbon boot, seven pot red, uh, BBG, Tony uh, Sherwood uh, creation. I think this is about like an F6 now, um, maybe F7 because I've already grown it out a second generation. Um, so it's well along, pretty well established. Um, a lot of the posts I've seen from other individuals that have grown it out um, have very similar results. Some of the pods that might be a little bit more wrinkled, um, and some of them are actually a lot smoother and don't have you know, ridges or almost like a elongated lobes on them. Um, I've tried a couple of these before and they have an extreme amount of heat. It's got the bubblegum burn to it um, with a little bit of some of the ghostly flavor and some of the fruity floralness from the seven pot. And it might be hard to see, actually at that angle not too hard, so I just kind of split this in half and there's a good amount of oils inside because it just coated the knife. Uh, and haven't even opened it up yet, but it's got a heck of an aroma from a distance of about, I don't know, let's say half a foot from my face. Um, nice, interesting placental walls cutting the way that I cut this one through the center. Uh, not a whole lot of seed stock going down the placental tissue, but a um, decent amount of placenta nonetheless. My K9 
camera is playing some interesting tricks with the lighting, so I'm trying to hold that a little bit different. So it's got a good amount of placenta coming through here in the center, as you can see. It's got a heavy... This one actually has a more of a ghost-like uh, aroma than when the mama plant did. The mama plant was a full Kratky. It would never lived in soil. When I took the clones, uh, obviously I propagated them in water only, um, and then subsequently planted them in soil. Um, so these are soil bound, uh, obviously different nutrient uptake and different nutrient uh, requirements that I put in the soil than I do with a Kratky plant. Uh, not sure if you can, how well we can see this on the camera with this darn lighting, which is why outside reviews were working a lot better. There's a good amount of of oil. Yeah, this isn't working very well. Sorry, bear with me. Let's see if I can. Over here on the on this side, inside this wall, there's a good amount of oil build up in there. So this should be a pretty good uh, hot specimen. Mm, slightly fruity, a little bit floral aroma to it. Medium thick wall. You know, I communicated with Tony a little bit about this because uh, I was excited about growing out one of his strains and he was pretty excited about the progress that I had made with uh, with his strain. Um, mm. Yeah, interesting. I mean, this thing might have had a total of two, four, maybe like eight seeds in it, so not very proficient on the seed production on the inside, but a good amount of oils built up on the inside of it. Yeah, this just isn't helping a whole lot. Ooh. Bubblegum burn, ghost flavor, a little bit of floral, a little bit, not heavy, but a little bit. Um, oh wow. Bear with me a second. Because I ate it in short sections, you know, a quarter of it, and then another quarter, and then the other half of it. I'm uh, feeling different stages of the heat, getting the flavor from the last couple of bites of it. But the heat from the first couple of bites of it are already attacking the tongue. Definitely the bubblegum burn with it. Uh, peripheral uh, attacking of the tongue. Excuse me. The fruitiness of the uh, seven pot with the ghost uh, hints of flavor in it but more so a dominant bubblegum and uh, very quickly went all around the mouth from the tongue to the sides of the mouth making me salivate pretty quickly uh, whoo it's interesting to note the um, for me at least having the same generation grown as a cracky plant and uh, and general hydroponics uh, flora series nutrients leading quite a few of those making some powders and a sauce out of that but these clones in soil uh, indoor and the Kratky plant was grown outdoor or at least finished outdoor the soil indoor plant grown under some LEDs this thing has a noticeable amount of, noticeable greater amount of heat than the Kratky outdoor plant. My tongue is really being attacked by the seven pot and bubblegum, making me salivate pretty heavily. Nice fruity flavor to it. A 
relatively mean burn in the respect that it's attacking the entire tongue and the entire mouth. It's starting to hit the esophagus a little bit. Good flavor, great burn. Whew. Definitely put this somewhere around the three quarter to million mark on the Scoville scale. It's got a lot of heat to it. I actually just finished uh, pulverizing a bunch of dried uh, pods for this, uh, turned into a powder. So I'm interested to see how that is using on some uh, some various uh, experiments for uh, powders, straight versus mixed, or in addition to some hot sauces. Yeah, the back side of it's really hot and mean, like tingling and pins and needles on the back of the throat going into the back of the tongue going into the throat, starting to come down the esophagus. Good thing I had a good dinner this evening or this would probably cramp me up later, but I think I'll be all right because I had a I had a fairly good dinner. But it's uh, been building and building and building. I think it's I think it's plateauing. It's hard to tell. When you get to this this heat level, it's hard to know if it, it's continuing to build or if you're just having problems adjusting to how hot it is in general. Lips are tingling, a little bit numb. Nose is running a little bit. Ears have a little bit of ringing to them, a one or two alarm tingle ringing to them. It's a pretty darn hot pepper. Oh, yeah. Starting to work its way down. You can feel the uh, volcanic rumble hitting the uh, food that was in my stomach. That's a hot pepper. Very good flavor. Floral. On the low side of floral. More fruity. Uh, I think this one will be a, a long ride, actually. Uh, not a devastating ride, but a pretty good ride, nonetheless. So, um, very good. Very good super hot pepper. Not the ultra, ultra hot, but very, very high hot pepper. Uh, definitely a, a super hot. Definitely can put some pain on some people that aren't used to eating hot peppers. Uh, I would say definitely contact uh, Tony Sherwood and see if you can hook yourself up with some seeds for the uh, Carbon Boot 7 Pot Red cross with the bubblegum. It's a pretty incredible cross. Makes for some good sauces that I've got fermenting that I've tasted. Excellent flavors. The powder I think will be good. I have a straight one and I mixed it as well. And for fresh eating it's pretty darn good. As a re review pepper it's a little bit painful. Uh, Excuse me. Not overwhelming to the extent where you can't finish a review, but definitely hot. We'll have to celebrate a little bit uh, just to knock off that heat a little bit. No milk, nothing like that. Just a celebratory ale from one of my favorite breweries. Nothing like a good celebration. So, uh, happy Friday, PLC members. Uh, reach out to Tony Sherwood, see if he'll uh, hook you up with some seeds for that. Uh, if not, I 
if he doesn't have any, he'll have some seeds soon because uh, some of this, uh, these isolated seeds will be heading his way, so he'll, he'll have some soon. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's been a good Friday night. Look forward to doing it again. Peace out. Celebration. Pepper Wolverine review, Friday night.